Let's get right to it. Time to piss some people off. However, I'm not doing it to be mean. I'm doing it because it's what the real world looks like. Outside of those in tech, there seems to be this belief that the top role in artificial intelligence are the AI researchers. That's not the case. As a matter of fact, most researchers aren't in technical roles. Now, what does that mean exactly? It means that all the researchers I've worked with aren't doing any of the real world work. They're off in managerial roles or doing research. Many of them are walled off behind research departments, so they don't need to do any of the real world work. This is how Google and Microsoft are set up. Let's define real world work. In the real world, companies are handing out big salaries for people that can work the entire machine learning pipeline. The pipeline is a series of steps. Here's an example. You're given a project at a real company. The first step is model choice. What model are you going to choose for that project? Next, you'll need to source and cleanse your data. After that, you'll need to model that data. And then lastly, you're going to need to put that model in production. That's the abbreviated machine learning pipeline or process. After working on Microsoft and Uber, I can tell you 99% of the AI researchers I work with can't work the end-to-end -end machine learning pipeline. The people doing the real work are the data people and software engineers. I keep coming back to the statement from Andrew Ang because it's so important in understanding real-world machine learning. He said, the model and the code for many applications are basically a solved problem. Now, what exactly does that mean? What he means is that the models and the code for what we're using in the real world are already written. I've been using gradient boosters now for five years. That means I haven't used a single thing a researcher has created in the last five years. And, by the way, the guy who created the top gradient booster wasn't a researcher. So, if you're looking to place someone on a pedestal, put the guys of the TensorFlow team up there. Or the guys that created AutoML tables. These things are being used every day to build production-ready models. If you go to your master's or your PhD, and you think you're going to walk into a real-world role as a machine learning engineer, you're in for a wake-up call. The people doing the majority of the real-world work are the data people, not the researchers. I didn't create this environment. I'm simply telling you like it is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great day.